All right, I've been promising this video for a long time and I think it's about time that we dived into it. So uh, this is the Gen 3 plate carrier modification video. Um, now these things, I have a lot of gripes and groans about them, but they can be modded into something that's actually pretty usable. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do, separate the upper from the lower. All right, now this thing comes with a lot of different parts, right? The only things you really need, okay, are the outer plate carrier, your hard plates, and your soft armor. Don't forget the soft armor. For the USMC Sappies, the three plus rating is not achieved unless you have the soft armor in there. So if you're running a personal plate carrier, if you're lucky enough to do so, make sure you have that soft armor in there, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is separate the two of them, all right? And then you're gonna untuck it, just like so. Make sure that you have your hard and soft armor out. You're gonna reach inside, grab the top material, and tuck it inward like so. Do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now your corners are tucked, just like so. And what you're gonna do you're going to take the top, you're going to be able to fold it in on the inside once you put the plates in. All right, so now the corners are tucked. Take your soft armor, put it on inside. Now the soft armor is going to be facing your body. And you take the hard armor and you put it inside of the little small slit right here. That's meant for it. Make sure it's nice and seated properly. Zip it closed. All right, what I like to do is I like to take the zipper, tuck it in just like so push it forward so you can't even see the zipper anymore it won't catch anything it won't drag out all right so this is what it's gonna look like okay and then what you can do is you can take this tuck it back inside like so so you'll end up with something that looks just like this do it on the other side Okay, you're gonna have it kind of looking like this. All right, that takes care of the front plate bag. Now the back one. Take this, pull it out. Pull it out. Ooh, buddy. I'm using one of my guys' plate carriers because I have mine already all set up. Make sure that you even out the straps so that they're even on your body, so that uh, the plate doesn't sag to one side or the other. All right, what you pull out, strap just like so, so then you have this free dangling material. Reach in through the back again. Now you can use tweezers, but I'm just gonna freehand it. Just tuck it back in on top of itself. And just like so. Alright, as you can see, I'm pulling it through to the other side, through the inside of the plate bag. I'm trying to flatten it out as much as possible so it doesn't cause any issues. And we're going to do the other side. All 
All right. It's gonna end up looking like this. Put the soft armor in. Make sure that the excess material, okay, is tucked behind the soft armor. So the soft armor's here, the excess material is tucked back behind that so that it doesn't rub against your back or cause any problems. Then you put in your hard arm. And you zip it up. Alright, it's gonna look like this. Just like so. Take it right here. Oh. Forgot to mention the little cloth strap, right? I like to keep it out for the front. So what it's gonna look like, this little cloth strap right here goes over the front and you can take the back side and you can tuck it in on itself like so. All right, so now you have this cloth strap that's kind of adding a little bit more security on the sides. through, pull it all the way down, Oops. tuck it in, all right, now you got your cloth strap out like so, bring it here, and attach. even it out sort of evenly. Now, once he gets this back, he's gonna adjust it to his body to make sure that the plates sit properly. All right, but this is what your end product should look like. Something along these lines, right? So what this allows you to do is number one, it minimizes the amount of padding and garbage that you have right here at your shoulder pocket when you're uh, um, properly seating a rifle. Okay, and then number two, it allows you to take aftermarket pouches, uh, after, excuse me, aftermarket shoulder pads, and you can put them on here properly, right? Um, and give you some good actual shoulder support because the ones that come with the carrier are, are not great. Um, okay, and then cummerbunds. So the cummerbunds are actually kind of a big problem on these, um, mainly because I've seen a lot of the Velcro ones rip and tear. Uh, however, these ones, the rigid ones, are kind of ginormous, all right? Um, in order to fit it properly to like medium to small sized guys, most of us have to stick it out way far like this, okay? Um, I don't know if you gents have run into these problems, but I know that I have with a lot of my guys. So, um, one trick that I've seen, okay, uh, this was shown to me by a guy named John Bloomba, he is a uh, former member of the uh, Marine Corps shooting team. He showed me this little trick. So you can take it, curl it back in on itself, like this, right? And this makes it adjustable at any level. So if you need to, you can curl it in at a different length in order to, to fit it to your body properly. Okay? But curl it in on itself, Oops. just like so. And where'd that shock tube go? You can just find a random piece of shock tube. This is why you always pick up any little thing that you find laying around, like uh, strap holders, shock tube. I've picked up enough pairs of gloves, so I'm supplied for the rest of my life. But basically what you can do is you can take the shock tube and weave it through 
like so, so then it's adjustable and it's elastic. So this is what it looks like with the shock tube attached. So you got a little bit of stretch in there, all right? And then you can adjust it to your actual body length. So let me close that up here. Okay. So now that's that. So now this thing is adjusted to the proper fit and function. And there you have it. So these are some good baselines um, to start out with if you're running the new uh, USMC plate carrier. Um, these adjustments, you know, they're gonna make your plate, the plate bags tighter. They're gonna make them sit properly against your body. When you jump up and down, there's not gonna be any shift uh, when you're moving around. It'll just make you operate better. Uh, if you take care of yourself, take care of your gear, um, you'll just be a more lethal warfighter in general. So um, now I got a shout out to uh, Skinwalker Tactical. I learned a lot of this stuff by watching some of his videos. Um, and, and I kind of did a little bit of playing around by myself, figured out what worked for me. Um, and then once again, shout out to John Gluba. He also uh, helped me out with the Cumberbund thing. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, stay lethal.